Yeah. Well, there are only uh, 78 uh, uh, teams out there right now practicing and uh, being able to compete in postseason uh, bowl games. And we're definitely very fortunate to be one of those teams. Uh, it's a credit to our coaches, our players, for really all the hard work and sacrifices they've made for the, the last 11 months. Um, uh, we have a tremendous challenge in front of us with uh, Utah State. Uh, they're very deservingly of their top 25 ranking. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind uh, they're the best team that we've faced so far. Uh, they lost two games this, this season uh, you know, by, by single digits. And so uh, we understand the challenge. Uh, and we're ready to, uh, we've already started preparing and, and getting ready for this game. So I know our, our, our players are very excited about it. This team, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to uh, set our legacy. You know, being one of the uh, only one of, uh, or two times in the history of our program have we won 10 games in our, in our 103 uh, year history. So I know our players are very excited about that opportunity uh, and able to accomplish that, uh, that goal. Also, uh, you know, being uh, one of uh, only three teams in the history of our program to be the top 25 team, and that hadn't happened since 1974. Uh, so there's a lot for us to uh, still play for, and then also the fact that we still haven't accomplished our mission of winning our bowl. And uh, I know our, our players are, are really excited about the challenge, and they've worked extremely hard. Uh, this would be a great opportunity uh, to send our seniors out the right way. Uh, you know, there's nothing better than uh, being able to go out with a bowl championship, uh, you know, they've done so much around here to help us set our culture. Um, they've worked extremely hard uh, day in and day out. Uh, and, uh, you know, we want to send them off the right way with a bowl win. With that, I'll open it up. What have you seen just from the energy and excitement level of this team going into this bowl game uh, with, in the two weeks that you opened? Yeah, it's, it's been really good. You know, we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, you know, uh, they, I thought the energy was exceptional. They, they had a lot of great work, and uh, the execution has been good on all three phases. Um, you know, getting them back after a day off, uh, you know, is challenging sometimes. You know, had yesterday off, uh, uh, just kind of your normal uh, week routine. And so, uh, yeah, but they came back pretty strong. I wouldn't say the, the energy was as good as maybe through the weekend, uh, but uh, we had a sharp practice, and uh, there's some things we can clean up, uh, getting ready for tomorrow's uh, practice, make sure that uh, we – we have our best Wednesday, and that's the most important thing right now. When it comes to Utah State's offense and their quarterback, Jordan Love, yeah. what have you seen from them on film so far? He can make all the throws. He's very talented. Uh, probably uh, one or not the best quarterback we've faced so far. They have uh, a lot of weapons. They're explosive. Uh, running backs are really good. O-line up front. Uh, they do a good job uh, still being physical, running the football. Uh, but they're very explosive. Um, and again, uh, they've put a lot of points up on the board. There's a reason why they're ranked number three in the country, I think, in scoring offense. And so uh, we get, we, our defense has a, uh, has a great challenge, uh, but I know they're excited about the opportunity. You announced this week that, you, you know, that you're coming back, that you were going to stay with North Texas. What was it that led you to decide to stay here? Well, first off, I mean, I got to have an unbelievable opportunity here. You know, uh, Becca and I have – uh, really been, uh, everybody's been so great to us here in this community. Uh, our administration, uh, from the head of the Board of Regents down to the president to our athletic director, uh, our second to none, our relationship and the communication that it takes to make sure we're all pulling the rope in the same direction for us to have success has been huge. Plus the relationships you build with, you know, your players. I uh, love these guys and our coaches. and. You know, I still feel like uh, this is a special place. I think we're doing special things. And so, you know, we haven't accomplished everything that uh, uh, we need to. We need to, again, make sure we compete and win championships, uh, whether it's in conference, in bowl games. Uh, there's still a lot to be played for. And again, I'm, I'm extremely blessed. I've said it all along. I'm, God's blessed me with an unbelievable job, a great community to, for, to raise my children in. And again, it's, uh, it's been special. Feel good about the future here? Just what you got to feel? I feel really good about the future. Not only, uh, again, it starts up top. It starts with uh, who you're working with every day and coming to work and understanding that uh, our administration is going to give not only our coaches but our players, and more importantly, the resources necessary to be successful. And that's where it starts. And Rim uh, Baker, President Smotris, I mean, Brent Ryan, I mean, they, they – 
they make it go. I mean, that's the that's the reality again. And, and um, you know, I think our future is very bright. I don't, I don't think we've even truly scratched the surface. I think this is a special place uh, with the resources coming in. I feel like we're only going to continue to grow and get better as a program, as coaches, as players. Uh, so that's where we're at. You told, the, you told the team during the meeting, what was that scene like when you told them? What was their <laughs> It was good. Uh, you know, again, I've always said it would be extremely hard for me to walk in in front of this team and, and uh, <laughs> again, the relationships we built and how I feel about them and uh, our staff. Uh, it was it was uh, it was fun. It was it was a great feeling. And again, I think uh, uh, we all we all you know, again we, we we're tight we're a tight group. And so it was exciting. But uh, we know uh, we we knew we had to get right on to work. Uh, you know, coming off. Uh, Kind of a little bit of off time. We had a couple days to kind of work against each other, but it was really getting down to uh, the game plan and, and start locking in on Utah State because we know we have an unbelievable challenge. And uh, again, they went out and we had great work this weekend. Some of the guys on Twitter put up memes uh, or compared it to that scene from the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, Is I, I saw. Comparison there, or was that close? Or what you no, I wouldn't. I, I didn't. Uh, I wished I would actually. It's pretty, it's, I've never seen the movie, but uh, I went upstairs in the quarterback room and they were meeting and I said, hey coach, this is what you should have done right here. And uh, I was like, man, if I'd have known that, I would have, that would have been awesome. But uh, it was pretty funny. So when they encouraged you to put it, on, put it out like that, put it on Twitter? Or? Uh, they encouraged me to do a lot of things, you know. <laughs> that group, I mean, our whole group, uh, we have a lot of fun together and uh, you know, we, uh, we like to joke around and have fun, so they definitely there's definitely some personalities on this team. Utah State, I think, has been to a bowl seven of the last eight years. How impressive is a streak like that, just to have that kind of consistency? Yeah, that's what you're looking for. I know uh, Coach Wells uh, has done an unbelievable job there. I've known him for a long time, and his brother Luke. Shoot, we grew up in the same area. I played with his brother at uh, University of Oklahoma, and so uh, again, uh, they're good friends of mine, and he's done. A phenomenal job within their program. Uh, they got great players. Uh, they, they're they're on a roll, and so th this is, I think, uh, their best team. And and uh, you know they're very impressive. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a it's a great team, and they've played well all season. Again, you've uh, you've only lost two games by you know single digits. Uh, you know the points they're putting up. Uh, all three phases. The thing that you look at them on tape, you know. You hope to find some type of weakness within a team, uh, and every team's a little bit different. Uh, you know, maybe on special teams, offense, defense. Surely one of them's going to have some weakness, but they're sound in all three phases. Uh, they're probably they are the most complete team we've played. They're well coached, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. So we know the challenge. Again, uh, uh, but I do believe that uh, our guys are excited, and uh, I feel like uh, you know we're kind of hopefully peaking at the right time. I think we've had great work, and I'm excited to go out there and battle with them again. Does Utah State having an interim coach affect you guys at all in preparation? Have we talked? Does that matter to you at all in preparation? In you know, I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, I understand that they're going through a little bit of transition. Uh, all, I, all I can focus in on is what's on tape. Uh, you know, I know they're going to be prepared. Uh, they got, again, there's a reason why they've been so successful in all three phases. They're well coached, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind they'll show up uh, with a chip on their shoulder you know, wanted to end their season the right way as well. So we're looking forward, forward to a great battle. As a coach, what do you do with this extra time? Do you spread out your game plan over this time? Or do you install more? Um, how, do you, how do you do that? Not so much more. The more you put in, the more uh, hesitation I, I believe there is. So, uh, you know, we add some different wrinkles. Uh, you know, it gives us a little bit more time to add some wrinkles and then, um, you know, continue to get extra work on them. Uh, you know, being an early bowl game, you don't get as much young guy development as maybe you would like to. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there's not as long of a layoff either, which uh, at times I think is helpful. You know, the longer the layoff, the, uh, the harder it is sometimes to knock the rust off when you get back. So, you know, I think uh, it's been great work and we've had some opportunities to get some of those young guys work and continue to develop them and get back to some of our fundamentals, which really helps this time of the year. So it's been good work.
the plane at altitude. Yeah. Is that be a don't tell our players that. We act like they don't know. It may be cold too. Is that a bit of an adjustment? Or what can you do? Well, the good, the, the good thing is we're going up early. Uh, we'll have some opportunities to, to work out in it and get uh, adjusted. Uh, at the end of the day, you got, got to go out and play. And uh, you got to focus in on, on the things that uh, uh, matter. No one, no one cares about the altitude. No one's gonna, uh, no one's gonna talk about it. So, cold, rain, sleet, shine, doesn't really matter. You got to go out and, and compete. Now that you've had a chance to look at it a little bit more, is there? Do you have a better feeling for Utah State? Have you gotten a little bit more? Yeah, I've, uh, you know, had the opportunity to dig in to take quite a bit. Uh, again. They got defensively, uh, you know, they do a great job within their scheme. Uh, very, some ways similar to ours, but they got uh, they got very good talent on the back end. They're, they're sound. They they play with great technique. Their linebackers are <laughs> really good players. Uh, probably guys that are uh, some guys that are draftable, um, no doubt. And you know, they they're they're physical up front. Uh, their D linemen use their hands very well, uh, getting off blocks. Offensively, again, we've talked about their weapons uh, that they have. Quarterback can make all the throws. Uh, he does a great job of managing the game and uh, getting the ball to his playmakers. And uh, again, I mean, there's it's no secret they're the best team we've played, and uh, we got a great challenge. But I know our guys. I think that's kind of when we at times play our best as well when they're on edge. And so, uh, hopefully, we uh, we show up in the right frame of mind, which I know we will. And, Go out there and compete. And at the end of the day, it still goes back to me with, you know, we talk a lot about our character and, and making sure that it's going to drive our process and go out there, give it everything you have. The results are going to take care of itself. Uh, but I feel good about where we're at. There's been a lot of talk about their quarterback, but one guy who was honored yesterday was their kick returner. Yeah. And he's probably one of the better ones. Is that, can you talk a little bit about him and what the challenges he presents? Yeah, he's very explosive, you know, and that's the thing when, uh, you know, when you got a guy who can, you know, they do a good job blocking for him, but he can hit a little seam now and he's gone and he can take it to the house quickly. And so you got to make sure that, uh, you know, your lanes are covered, um, do a great job getting off blocks, using our technique, our hands, uh, and, and making sure that uh, we do a good job as coaches understanding uh, what their strengths are and, and trying to do things that uh, can help us out as well. It's huge, not only for this program, but for our seniors. All the things that, you know, they've they've gone through the last uh, three years. They've sacrificed a lot. They've worked hard. Uh, they've had to build new relationships and uh, become, you know, different part of different schemes. And anytime there's transition, it's always a challenge. And um, you know, I just I have a lot of respect for uh, those men. For not only what they mean to this program, but what they mean to me. And they've, uh, they've done nothing but get better and, and work hard and be great teammates. And uh, that's, to me, it, it's about these, these men. I mean, I want it so bad for them. I want them to go out and, uh, you know, have the opportunity uh, to win a bowl championship. Uh, and again, we want to compete for championships. And that's an opportunity for them to, again, kind of leave their mark and their legacy. Is this your practice time headed into the bowl? Does that help you down the line? Well, there's no doubt. Again, I thought, I think the biggest jump we've made since I've been here was that first year uh, when we played in the heart of Dallas Bowl versus Army. We had uh, about 14 practices there that we weren't even focused as much on our Army until it got closer uh, to about a week and a half out. Uh, so we had about six really good practices to just get better, get fundamentally. Um, you know, just working with our coaches, some of our young guys, just getting the reps. Uh, you know, sometimes with those young guys, they were, we played a lot of young guys. And early on, uh, once you get kind of in the meat of the season, uh, it, it's harder and harder to continue to focus in on fundamentals because you're working game plans. There's so much that goes into it. Uh, plus, uh, you're having to pull back, you know, about midway through just because to, to keep them fresh, making sure that uh, uh, their bodies are right. And so, I thought our biggest jump we've had since I've been here was that bowl preparation uh, for that game. And I think it really kind of put us over the hump for uh, not only bowl game, uh, you know, but 
the next season, uh, you know, it really paid off for us. And I think that's a huge reason why we won nine games that year. Does bowl experience matter? I mean, you guys have been here now before and played in a bowl game. I think every experience helps. Uh, you know, the more you're a part of big games, um, different situations, the better you get as a team overall, the better I get as a coach, uh, all of us coaches. Uh, we're all still growing and, and developing, and, and uh, we're all in this thing together. And so, you know, we've, we've played in big games, we've played in championship games, uh, we've played in these bowls. You know, we've, we've come in different situations to where, uh, you know, there's, the pressure got even bigger, you know, maybe at times this year to where, uh, you know, you're, you're picked to win the division and you just beat a, uh, you know, an SEC team and the, the, the pressure or the outside pressures can get even bigger and the stakes get bigger. And so you learn and grow through every, every uh, uh, situation. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of time to, again, we've had a lot of great opportunities to grow through them, and I think our team's only going to continue to get better uh, through all of them. And uh, I feel like we're uh, way more mature uh, as an overall group. And at the end of the day, let's go out and play and see where the chips fall. Appreciate it, guys.